Good day, rehabbers. It's your boy, Flippin' LV, back with a property tour for you. Today, we are in the city of Henderson. I have a loft-style condo to show you today. And let's take a look and see what we got going on. So, this property is in the city of Henderson. If you have been living under a rock or you are new to the channel, Henderson is a city right outside the city of Las Vegas. And uh, this property is a one bedroom loft in the city of Henderson. So it is a condo that's available for sale. Um, what we're looking to do is uh, medium term rental. So what's a medium term rental? So a short term rental is what's very popular right now is Airbnbs, VRBO. And your traditional long-term rental is a 12-month lease, six-month lease, um, typical lease. A medium lease is somebody that rents for less than 12 months and they are a contract worker or a traveling nurse. So we are looking for medium term leases and that's what we're looking for with this property. So let me show you the property. So when we first walked in and back up, so you have a great room here and it's a loft. So you can see that the bedroom is upstairs, but we'll show you that in just a minute. So you have a great room here. So you have like your living room area. This property is one bedroom, one and a half bath. So you do have a half bath on the first floor here. Um, it's not in bad shape, you know. You have your water heater uh, under the stairs there. Um, you do have a little storage for linens and things like that here. And then you have your sink, vanity, Decent little half bath to get the job done. So you don't have to go upstairs to wash your hands for dinner. Or if you have guests, they don't have to go upstairs in the loft. So this one, you have a dining area right here. You do have a counter bar. So you can put bar stools here and have your dining area here. This person who lived here looked like they may have been, uh, had some artwork or some things like that on the wall. You can kind of see the rectangles and squares on the wall where they have furniture and things like that. Um, so this one is not like a total gut job, but to rent it out to these, you know, traveling nurses, furniture finder, things like that, you wanna upgrade the property. So what we would do is upgrade the lighting. Um, the carpet is not bad, it actually looks newer, but it, you know, kind of gives rental apartment vibes. So we would upgrade the carpet. Um, the kitchen, you know, it is what it is, you know, um, what we would do is we would upgrade to uh, granite or quartz countertops. Uh, the cabinets actually aren't in too bad a shape. I think we could actually save the cabinets. And what I like to do is just change the hardware, change the knobs, change the hardware to uh, black or brushed nickel and it'll really make the cabinets look a lot newer. Um, the countertop looks like the original countertop to the house. Um, these condos were built in the 80s. Um, you got your cheaper, you know, apartment style stove. Um, so what we would do is we would upgrade the appliances. It does have all of the appliances here, but as you can see, this white is not white anymore. And, um, yeah, so you got a garbage disposal here. Um, so we would put new appliances, new refrigerator, and uh, we would upgrade the lighting too. So this is typical of uh, Vegas kitchens. A lot of them have these lightings if they ha haven't been upgraded. So we would just update that. So it's one bedroom, one and a half bath. So you can get in, that was the front door that we came in. So this is the back door here and so each um person in the condo they have a back door so you can come in you have a little patio area here you do have a little storage bin here where you can store things and then um every person has a carport so there is on street parking but you also have that carport there so you can park your car come in this gate right here and then come right on into your condo so which is pretty sweet you know so you have covered parking 
um, Las Vegas. It's a little chilly right now. Not chilly, but windy. But it can get very hot in the summer. So you want to have a carport or a garage, which this has. So leading towards upstairs, have a coat closet there. And then there's a really nice loft up here. So come upstairs to the loft. So they have um, wallpaper here. So we would strip all of this off. They have the wood crown molding. We would paint that or just take it off. And there's looks like an original ceiling fan. So here's the thing. So it's a one bedroom loft, which we can really play this up. So with the medium size, um rentals medium term rentals rather we furnish so we'll fully furnish it so not only do we fix up the property but we fully furnish it for the resident that's going to live here so here they have the blinds that can you know provide privacy um but what we would do is just put some really nice um curtains that will come across so they don't come all the way across with the blinds here, but we would take ours and come all the way across to provide privacy because as you look over, this is the front door here. So if you have people coming in and this is the bedroom area in the loft, if you have a curtain, you can just close it. Nobody can see and it provides uh, privacy. So it's a pretty nice view from the loft down here on the, on the first floor. And then here we have our full bath here. So they did do some upgrades here you know, cheap floor that would have to come up, but they replaced this tub and it's not tile, but it's nice. So this is like a, a like a one piece, two piece. So they put a brand new tub in here so we don't have to do that. And because they already put this in here, we wouldn't replace this at all. So they already have a new shower head. Just gotta get rid of the pink stripes right there. And uh, because space is limited, they do have a stackable washer and dryer here in the bathroom but you know if you're a traveling nurse or professional somewhere living somewhere for three to six months you're just happy you don't have to leave your unit to do laundry period so i would probably get rid of this but in this kind of provides like hey laundry room bathroom laundry room bathroom <laughs> so uh you have a toilet here one thing about here that's kind of like a functional problem is there's just a big gap space right here. So if a person that's going to live here is going to be like a traveling nurse, somebody working at a hospital, I would just make a really nice linen, like open rack here with linens and things. Um, so they would have that for storage right there. And so you have a vanity, um, just a one seat vanity here. You got your mirror and your um, medicine cabinet here and then you have a walk-in closet this already has a pretty nice organizer so this is actually pretty sweet because it goes all the way around even at the top so a person that you know has limited storage they can just hang their things up and they don't have to be worried about you know things in boxes so this is a pretty sweet um, custom organization for the closet it's really nice actually so it's nice because you have more than one bathroom. A lot of these loft type properties only have one bath. So this is one full bath upstairs and a half bath. So like I said, if you got company or guests or people coming over, or you just don't want to go upstairs, you know, to wash your hand when you're cooking and things like that, you can go downstairs. So um, we're definitely going to see what we can do on this one. This is actually in the area where we already have another rental property, almost like you know, stones throw away about half a mile away. And this is something that we could um, quickly get up to par and uh, just furnish it and get ready to rent out. So this is the process of renovation with Flippin' LV. Definitely what we see what we're gonna do on this one. We'll see you next time.